for the ones that dared to doubt me Here's to the ones that went there without me To the friends that once cared about me Why then are you scared to scout me? Least brought and I'm eating out Eat crap, be sour than kids scream and pouting Rerouting up in the mountain Shout, need to believe in the top three Pursue the few that renew me Shoes be bigger than huge kangaroos feet Big news you lose just to prove me Right, we fight and you try to prove me Straight off the bat, how does it feel to be 20 years older than Jay-Z, but a better rapper? <laughs> Let me answer the second part, because I'll take the second part. Uh, I just, I hate you right now. How's it going be 20 years older and a better rapper? I mean, you're not well in some ways, and I know you're messing with me, but in some ways I do believe maturity-wise, you know, not to insult him at all, but in some ways I believe that I am older than him, um, you know, as a person who is formally educated in a different way, who uh, <clears throat> most of my music career um, has all been about maturity and positivity and I believe this is my opinion I believe that when you are that way especially in an industry like this you really kind of bolster yourself some years ahead because it's not easy to be positive in an industry that's majority in some ways I think negative or, or pejorative so in that regard I, I actually I would take that as a compliment because I was saying that in that way I am open uh, <clears throat> and uh, you know because I kind of feel like what we're doing now is what the, the rappers and some would consider negative or vulgar is what they're becoming now. Mm -hmm. But we're not becoming vulgar and more cursing, you know, like we're, 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 we're continuing to rise. And then a better rapper, hey, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I, hey, I, I'm not scared to go toe to toe, you know what I'm saying, if I had to, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, but you know, TakeOver was real, but Ether was real too, so, uh, and the, those are the guys, that, that that's the style of hip hop that that I grew up on. So, yeah, no, I, I received that, if it, I put it like this, it, it's humbling. <laughs> Alright. Still don't like you right now. <laughs> Alright, serious time. Uh, mm -hmm. So, how, how did music become a big part of your life? It's obviously, you've been doing it for a while now, mm -hmm. so how, how did it begin? Uh, to do it on this level, the way it really began was it really started 12 years ago. Uh, <clears throat> I would say like our most recent addition to the whole family being Mitch Durrell, he's become a significant part of the family. But it started 2004 when I met Brian Rashard Jackson. And then I met another young man who I actually joined the group with, it was going to be the three of us. So I met him in 2004. And what I'm actually proud and honored to say is, every year since then, I've had a student of students who have enjoyed music or liked music or wanted to do music. And that one class that I taught at NC State, the USC 110 class in the College of Natural Resources, has actually been the door that has led me to the talented people that I've worked with. Tyler Payne was my student, Morgan Chief was my student, Kiara Hicks was my student, DJ Green was my student. You know, and these are all people who are now, in my opinion, doing more musically than I, than, than me, and I think they're more talented than, than I am. So that's what it did. It started with me teaching some people, investing in them, caring about them, and then them opening up to me saying that that's what they wanted to do. And then I was like, hey, well, let's go and let's have fun. Not realizing that it was going to become something that's actually established. So yeah, that's how I started. So me knowing you, you're... About a year ago, I wrote an article on you, mm -hmm. and it focused on the fact that you are a jack of all trades. You're a rapper, mm -hmm. a preacher, mm -hmm. and then a professor, mm -hmm. amongst other things. Mm -hmm. So, but I would say personally that you ha you keep your personality in all the different things that you do. Like you're not, you don't act more conservative or different when you're a preacher than you do when you're a professor, when you're rapping, like it's all the same. Yeah. So, <clears throat> speaking of your personality, how do you get your personality to reflect in, in your music and your, in your lyrics? Great question. And I'll answer it, I, so I think, I wanna answer like this. One of the common threads between all three of us is Jesus is our savior. That's the common thread. <clears throat> My music, my classroom lessons and my sermons all come from the same place. Um, I, 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 if my, my personality comes out of all three, because all three for me comes from God. So my gift of teaching, which is that's a gift that comes from God. My talent of rapping 
I know that that comes from God. And the gift of discernment or being able to to exegete the word all comes from God. So, <clears throat> so whenever I'm speaking, preaching, or teaching, because God is the center of it all, I have to be as best I can the same, you know, in everything, which is being genuine, being open, and being honest, but also being real with myself about who, who I am. I can't tell somebody out there to be confident in who they are, and I'm not being confident in who I am. Just like I can't tell somebody to uplift Jesus and I don't believe what I'm saying, you know, uh, and I can't teach people to respect other people and promote diversity if I'm not doing it myself. So that's why. Um, you are not 66, but you are older than me. Mm -hmm. So you know of a lot of groups and artists that I only have heard of mm -hmm. and I'm having to research. Okay. So who are your favorite rappers? Or who are your current favorite artists or all time? That's a hard question for me to answer because I have been digging hip hop, not since it started, because I wasn't alive when it first kicked <laughs> off. But I was alive like when LL Cool J blew up and Run DMC got known in NWA and Ice Cube and Tupac. So for me to answer that, I have bands that are my favorite. So my number one favorite band is Outkast. And that's because they're from the South. I've actually hung out with them a few times before, like before they really blew up. They're from Atlanta. I spent a lot of time in Atlanta. You know, my family, my family knows them. So <clears throat> I really fell in love with their music because their music led to Goody Mob, which Dr. Cool Breeze, Backbone, which is the Dungeon family. And so those guys being from the South, like, like us, the way they were with each other is, I think, in some ways, how I am with you all and I think how we are. My, son, my, my number two favorite group is really the group that I liked before Outkast because I heard of them before they came out, which is the Trial Call Quest. And I've loved how Q-Tip produced his music. I love how Fight Dog rapped, brought it street. Q-Tip was more ethereal in here, like he was up there somewhere. Fight Dog was right here on the block with you. And then that's what I liked about Outkast. Andre was out there in outer space somewhere and Big Boy was right here on the block with him. And so I love how their music was because they, to me, they had that perfect sweet spot of they were unapologetically black or unapologetically New York and tribes case or unapologetically Southern, but they made music that crossed over, uh, crossed ethnic lines. And it was because they all, there was always this message of love and peace in the music period. This to so the that's ones why that didn't stop me. Here's to the ones that went there without me. To the friends that once cared about me. Why then are you scared to shout me? Least rotten, I'm eating out, eat grout, be sour than kids scream about it. Rerouting up in the mountain, shout, need a belief in the top three.